Hi, welcome to Filled in Five, where we take five minutes each Monday morning to explore an aspect of growing a vibrant spiritual life. Today, let's look at strengthening our bond with God, or if you prefer, higher power, divine source, or spirit. When this topic comes up, often people think, I need to pray more, or I need to have a better prayer life. I rarely speak to anyone who is satisfied with their prayer life. Mine opened up for me when I realized that I could pray while moving. I am a person who learns by doing, and the same translates to my spiritual life. Moving my body helps to energize my spirit. Taking a short walk can help. I also find great benefit when I look for God in mundane chores. When I wash dishes or scrub a toilet, I am intentional about expressing gratitude for those in my life who make the chores necessary. Expressing gratitude when doing a task I don't care for generally opens up my soul. And when I sit down for prayer or meditation, then it's more of a fruitful exercise. Another benefit is that I can readily connect with God throughout my day in whatever I might be doing. Next is a big one. Get out and connect with nature. No matter who we are or what we do, we have a deep and vital connection to this planet. Beyond supplying for our physical needs, our souls connect with the created world even more deeply. People who live close to the earth are also known to be deeply spiritual. Almost any aspect of distress and despair improves when we go outdoors, walk on the ground, breathe fresh air, and travel among the trees. Anyone cooped up for any length of time is better after being outside. Every element in our bodies is found in the earth. It's beautiful poetry in Genesis 1 that speaks to God scooping up some earth and breathing a soul into it to create humans. From earth we come, and to earth we will one day return. Spring is upon us, and here in the Midwest, the earth is really showing off. The redbud and dogwood trees are gorgeous. The grass is greening up, and the spring flowers are announcing the end of the cold weather and teasing the summer that's coming. Connecting with the created world both soothes and ignites our souls. If you can get outside, your soul will thank you. Walk around and feel the ground beneath your feet. Stick your hands down into some soil and plant some flowers. Take a walk. Ride your bike. Breathe deeply of the sweet spring air. Have you ever felt lost or a little hopeless and gazed up into the night sky at all the stars? and found a connection to something much larger than yourself? Have you ever crested a mountain range in the fall and gasped as you witnessed the artistry of the golden and russet palette unfolding before you? Have you ever slept upon the earth and felt a kinship to it? God is so present within and throughout all of creation. If you want to grow your soul and your connection to God, Engaging with the earth is a great way to go about it. Don't take my word for it. Go out this week and discover for yourselves how God is present to you as you walk on the earth and breathe in the fresh air. If your soul is stuck, go out and sit a while where you can watch the birds and feel the breezes. Gaze up into the heavens and count the stars. Give yourself over to wonder and know how wide and long and high and deep is the love of God for you. That's the filled life. I'm Melissa Ebkin, the pastor of the Iliopolis and Niana Christian Churches, and I want you to experience a life filled with the abundant love of God.